YouTube, what is good? We are here. Today is Tuesday and we have a great selection of orders going out. There are a few things that we can't locate, a couple clothing pieces, but we're running on a tight schedule here, so I really want to get whatever we can shoot right now so we can get the customers flowing and all that good stuff. Where do we begin? I guess I'll start over here. We got three Puma Mellows, two purple joints, one used, one new. We also sold another new pair, I think a week back or two weeks back, so you know, the Mellow hype is upon us. It is NBA season is in full effect, so I actually haven't been hearing much about him, but then again, I haven't been following the season too much. This black pair is really cool. You guys probably maybe can't catch that iridescent with the black. I always thought this was a you know nice everyday ball pair. Uh, we got some Yeezys up top. Brand new mono ice, brand new bones, brand new slides. I want to shout out the dude who ordered the slides. Shout out to uh, Nolan for ordering these slides. He's been ordering a bunch of stuff from us. So shout out to Nolan. We truly appreciate the support. We got some Ultra Boost. Speaking of a new and a used, we got a used patent bread and a new patent bread. We got a couple used J's right here. We got the PG's. We go down here. We got some classic hair sevens. Next is a new re -rest of the Flint 7, which is still a classic. And then boom, we got the Ame 997. This sneaker we had up for quite some time. We never really got any decent offers. It's an extremely rare pair and it sold for $1,500. So I'm definitely happy about that. It took a long time and uh, shout out to whoever made us the offer. He definitely was not pump faking there. Got some Supreme Air Forces and Kobe Undefeateds, which me, Berwin, and Evan were just talking about how Stone Cold bought a pair of those in the latest sneaker shopping episode. It was quite funny to see him on there talking about sneakers. We got a pair of, I believe those are the Jordan 3. I used to ball on a pair of those. It's a pretty nice hoop shoe. We got a Hulk Hogan vintage t-shirt, Mitchell and Ness Giants crew neck. We got some Australia Kyrie's that I literally just got in the flea market video. Speaking of the flea market video, wow. We sold those and these. It was the same dealer, same transaction. I believe we've got both of those in the same deal. We got all these other sneakers right there. Honestly, the condition is not really too bad on them other than the pair of sevens. I feel like those are a little cooked. All the other stuff is in really good shape. Evan, you want to take it away and talk about your purple shoes right there? Shout out to the person who bought those. I saw them on somebody else, a celebrity, and I wanted them, but I ended up selling them to Top Shelf, so shout out to the person Ooh, who bought them. Aren't they like extremely rare? They're like, kind of rare, yeah. I wanted them because John Mayer was wearing them in some music video, but yeah, shout out to the person who bought those. Those used to be mine. Best shoe, straight away, Metallic Fives. Claire's every shoe that's out here by far. Maybe not the Space Jams, but Ginger 14 is pretty fire. We got two patterns out, which are really hard to move. Another shoe that's hard to move are the Windlight 96, and so happy about those two, or technically three going out. The little Mellow Ball, I just see a lot of kids wearing those right now. That's like the new young generation sneaker. A couple Yeezys, some Ultra Boost, the White on White Air Force with the Supreme Hit. Can never go wrong with those. A couple LeBrons, Kobe 5s, just really fire shoe. I never really knew how much those uh, Ame New Balances really went for until like I listed them and he brought them in. So that was a really good sale. And to see these adapts go out used, that's pretty cool just because of the technology and the way that sneaker is. And the Lamella Balls, love seeing all those go out. I guess it is because of the season. But shout out to everyone who been buying the lamellas. All right, a quick little uh, fancy update for all you guys out there. Currently, the leader in the Top Shelf Kicks Fantasy Football League is Ralph. Team, there goes my season. Brennan's best team in second place. And call me if you get lost in third place. I'm on my way up. I'm, I'm fighting my way. Jordan's on his way up. He has a tough matchup this week against uh, Put That Shit On. My team, Team Put That Shit On. Jordan's amazing team is uh, looking like trouble. He does have some good players, and I already know his plan, so hopefully his plan doesn't work, and he doesn't get that guy he's trying to get off waivers, which I'd assume I know who is that is and then we'll talk about the barrel bottom of the barrel real quick evan burwin you, you guys want to talk about that or i don't want to talk too much about it because i'm a little bit upset about it but um yeah we we lost we lost this week against no, no, no. no yeah you can't you can't you can't just, just, <laughs> you can't just say that you gotta describe we, you gotta describe the lost. loss we lost to the owen 17 yeah, we lost to the worst. Oh, no, 0-8. He, he was 0-8. He started Brandon Cooks. He didn't care. And I, somehow I Evan and Berwin still lost. I'll be honest. I don't think <laughs> I don't think he cared about winning this week, and he ended up winning. I mean, it worked out in his favor. We lost by like a point or so. A point, bro. Duvernay <laughs> is a bum. I'm sorry. Like, I don't know what I... Well, why didn't you start Gary Wilson? Like, what made you think... You know, that, that was the big fuck up. That <laughs> like, was really why? the big fuck like, up. that's supposed to be your guy. That's like, definitely my guy. Week, he had a week. And didn't it's he? crazy because I was thinking about it. Yeah, no, he had a really good week. He had like 18 points. No, if I, st to throw yeah, if I started Garrett Wilson, <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Where was it? <laughs> if we started Garrett Wilson, we would definitely would have won. But I also was going into the week very just like black. Yeah, because I, think, I don't think we oh, were. He had two people. Oh, that's <laughs> 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 
crazy. But it's also, I did believe Duvernay was going to do something, and he gave me like two points. Bro. That's crazy. Two crazy. points. Uh, Lamar Jackson literally <laughs> ran it every down. That's crazy. You just said it, bro. No, 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 you can never underestimate your, your competition. It is my fault. That's a is. life lesson. Never and underestimate your competition. Ain't no but. You just said I <laughs> underestimated. I didn't care. I wouldn't say I underestimated. I was laughing. No, I said it. No, no, no. I, I fucked up on not putting Garrett Wilson in. No. I was going to put Garrett for DuVernay. I fucked up. I didn't. I wasn't paying attention. But you know why you didn't do that? Because you just said you were relaxed. Yeah, it's okay. I was relaxed. Yeah. Yeah. I wasn't really thinking about it. He had Brandon Cooks to, like. Anyway. That's crazy, man. He had two um, people not playing. <laughs> Two and yeah. one? Yeah. Oh my um, god. Well, yeah, you that, that's, that's, <laughs> yeah, you need to look at that, bro. Quick update on the other league that uh, is store related. My team took a tough L. I lost by a few points. I feel like I could have I could have made the right decision. We're gonna shout out at Cree Shop and Sell. Number one position, even though I beat him last week or the week before that. He's seven and two. Riley Reed option, six and three. Matt with Titan Up is five and four. And Matt, shouts to you because I know you're hitting me up. We were talking with each other about how many points we're putting up, but we're just getting these like bad matches. And I told him, I'm like, bro, I've seen teams start 0-4 and, and then change up. And now he's 5-4 and four with team tightening up. And then fourth position in that league is got him coach. I'm seventh, so I'm teetering. I got a lot of moves to make. And yeah, that's about it. Uh, we've been pumping out the content this week for sure. So we're going to try to, you know, continue to do that in November and December. Just bring you guys really good content, in-store stuff, flea market stuff, haggling, negotiating, finding cool stuff, thrifting, whatever it is. We're going to continue to try to provide it. Shout out to everyone who's been shopping on the eBay store. We've really been doing crazy numbers this year, especially the last couple months. And we're really trying to finish off uh, the fourth quarter really strong as we are. So it's definitely important to do. We got two minutes left before we open up so let's see what happens today all stuff to use okay and then i don't know if you guys are taking clothing or whatever uh, i'll have to check it out okay. Syracuse dunks in a 13. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh. Huh. Was it a low or high? Oh, uh, low. I think literally you just got those on Saturday. Really? Yeah. I haven't been here in, I don't even know how long. <laughs> yeah. Are you going to try this on? Yeah, go ahead. It's been up there for a while. Cause I know they're uh, oh, okay. restocked or whatever. Yeah. And it's like four ninety nine on eBay, so I don't know. Yo, the Syracuse Lowe's size thirteen. No box. Can you bring it over, please? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Oh. What do you want for the ultra cruise again? Yeah. Like twenty five. Just look, don't touch. And how much for the 550s again? Oh, uh, like 40 bucks. Okay. And you said 125 for all that, right? Yeah. Alright, so I'll definitely drop these because these are up. Yeah, I was wondering. Because like, I assume you guys bought these before they restocked. Yeah. So I just want to know. like. How yeah, did you have an offer in mind for these? I think it was like 240. I mean, I don't know if it's since it's the first, it makes a difference. Nah, it doesn't. I think I'm pretty sure it's the same one. They just restocked it. Like 175. Okay. What's up? And what about these? Oh, uh, if you do four, that would be cool. All right. So, 
so I could do these two plus we owe you two fifty. So it was like six hundred for the two. I was at eight fifty total for everything with your stuff. I ran the one twenty. Yeah, I ran the one twenty five here. Uh, I ran twenty five here. I was at thirty here. I think the one we were kind of off on was the fours, just because mm -hmm. they're just like really chopped. Yeah. I was at like a hundred there. I was at two here, and I was at two twenty five for the Vermillions, which came up to. Uh, Eight, right, or eight, 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 eight. And the static was. Oh, my fault. In the statics, I was at like 140. So you had. Uh, so it was like. Eight, five, five, three. Three. Meet you in the middle of 275. That's cool. Alright, bet. Lemo, right? Uh, if, you, if you want Zell, we can do Zell too. That? Yeah, we can do Zell. Uh, let's see. Should be one. How you doing? Good, man. You? Alright. Looking to sell trade? So, please. First time in here, man. How's it going, oh, where are you from? It's the Parsippany, bro. Oh, wow. Yeah. Thanks for coming. I love that you got. How much were you looking for for these? So, upper by most of them, probably about. Place, so, I mean, I, I'll, I'll be real with you too, man. I know how it goes. Mm -hmm. What you? What, what can you offer? Uh, I'll check the two of mine. These, I'm not sure. These are the wrong box. Yeah, it's definitely wrong box. Okay. How much were you asking? How much were you asking for these? A little less for sure, bro. I mean, so. Uh, yeah, you, you can already see. Never worn, but These are yeah. Um, like I said, I'm reasonable, bro. So yeah, how much? Give me a how, decent deal for both. How much for these? Who are you looking for? These I'll look into. Yeah, definitely. Um, to be honest, bro, I'd like to get about twenty out of these. Jesus. Okay. Yeah, and then those you you give me your price, bro. All right. <laughs> I wanted to see if you guys would be interested in buying these. I have them like in a car, um, but I know like, some of them. Are they all new? Yeah. In the block. Um, a lot of good stuff. It's just the mm -hmm. sizing. I know. Because like, so. like your size and that size like barely moves for us. I know. And it just Over sits here. there, and like we're lucky enough to if it does move. Yeah. I know. I see. Got like a lot of yeah. And stuff. But no, I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. All right. Cool. I'll definitely be around. Appreciate it. No problem. Thank you. Yep. Have a good one. You too. Easy. I'll probably pass on. Um, if I took these, I'll probably get a hundred for those. Why you passing? Just easy in general don't move for us. Yeah, yeah, yeah I bet. Yeah, we, yeah, I understand. We just really haven't been buying them lately too. We can be in the middle at one time, bro. For those? Yeah. I mean, I asked one twenty, bro. We can be in the middle. These really don't move like that at all anymore, huh? No, the last sale was like two hundred on those too. Right. Uh, I mean, if you want to be honest, bro, I mean, we could look up a price. How much? You tell me, bro. What you looking at? Uh, to be honest, I'll do one ten here. Uh, but I appreciate that. Yeah, no problem. I mean, maybe we can even work out some stuff. credit, bro. Yeah, look around, see if you find anything. Yeah, maybe a couple T-shirts, but let me know what you. I mean, I'll take cash on these. Okay. For sure. Um, what you looking at? Store credit. Like one eighty for those. One eighty store credit. That's probably where I'd be at, cause that's payout is like one eighty. So. What that's about cash? Be. Like just not looking. I, I kind of don't really want them. At all, the just period. Like. Yeah, I just kind of <laughs> don't want them. They're just going to sit. Like, I'll take it. Right, give me the 160. If you could do 160 store credit, I'll take it, bro. I'll do 160 cash, 180 store credit. 160 you, cash? Yeah, 160 I'll cash, take 180. It, Let's do it. All right, so two, okay. 270. Let's do it. Um, What's the best way for you? You have Venmo. I got Venmo. You yeah. got Venmo. Can I see your Venmo, please? What's that? Wow, what's up? No, no, no. How's it no, no. going? Yeah. How you doing? This is my girlfriend. How's it going? Um, I've sold to you guys before. Uh huh. So I'm here and I just wanted to uh, let go of some of these pieces. How much are you asking for everything? Well, I wanted to know. Um, honestly, I was gonna say if we doing seven, I'm fine. Okay, so. Dead stock is 
this brand spanking new. Why are you talking no, so so so. There you go, man. So so. Yeah, I haven't even worn them. I've been trying to wear them, but just don't even have the time or the occasion. What the? Yeah, bring bring it so that way they we could get an estimate. But I want a brown. I want to wear with my hair. Would gray go with that? The Sakai's I I wore like once or twice. Okay. Also tell Aaron congratulations on his uh, marriage. Oh yeah. No. Seven for everything. Yes, please. You guys also taking Kobe's too? Uh, yeah. You didn't bring the Kobe's. I didn't bring them. No, they're in the car. Yeah, I know. Which ones? Um, it's a performance shoe. Is uh, I want to say it's the nine. Kind of don't want to let it go, but I might have to. These I think I'll hold off on. These are uh, these are just really low. And blazer lows or blazers in general just don't move for us. Okay. Uh, without those, I'm at 525. So if I bring the Kobe's in, how are we how are we looking? Um, I'll just have to see the Kobe's. I gotta see which ones they are, the condition, uh, and stuff like that. Still dead stock. I did write like R.I.P. Mamba on the bottom. But... <laughs> that <laughs> might be... have to be considered used. Might have to be considered used because of. Because of that. Because of the writing? Yeah. Because of the writing. Um, don't think like any like stock X or Bill will take that as new, Copy. unfortunately, because it has the writing on it. Um, so I don't know if you still want to sell it. I can see which ones they are and I can look up the prices to see. What um, they it's the perspective. This one? Yes, sir. 12 or 13. 13. And what did you want for those? I'm going to be honest. If, if I could get five. Whoa, I'm lying. Let me do four for those. Whoa, how much you seeing on? How, how much are, are you seeing on StockX for? Um, uh, let me check. I was looking on the gold. The gold's not being helpful right now. Yeah, last sale was three. Okay, so I'll do three. I'm gonna be able to do three. Maybe two fifty. Mm -mm. Not even two. It's just tough because it has the writing on it. Like I right. said, which has got to be considered as used. Right. Um, just looking at the last sale, there, there is like one crazy sale out of all of them, which is like nine twenty. I don't know how, who, what, when, where. Yeah. Um, I'm going to assume that's an NBA player. Three hundred, three seventeen, couple fours, but I'm seeing more three thirties. 325, 320. I think those I might hold off on just because I think we'll probably be like far apart on price. If you wanted to do the 525 hair though, I can definitely run that. 525 for everything? Yeah. You could do 550? Um, just consider what we have here. I probably want to stay at the 525 just because Pale of Bronze, we have a bunch of brotherhoods already. The Sapphire Sevens are not the greatest, just like Sevens don't move. Certain models just don't move at all. Mm -hmm. And then the Golden Rods are just really low. And these, I know I'm saying a lot of shoes don't move for us, but the Sakai's really don't move for us. Yeah, you know what? I'll give you the Kobe's for 250 if, or 200 flat if that's what you're. Just hold on to them. For them, just hold on to them. I'll give it to you guys for 200 flat. I'll be right back. Let me just, I'll bring them in. And then I, I don't know if you guys wanted to, you guys are still doing babies or I don't know. Oh no, I'll probably pass on those to the use. Your RP Mamba's on this side. What? If I was you, I would just put these up on eBay or go. Because these, these wouldn't pass as new, I just checked. With that? With the RP Mamba, it just wouldn't pass as new. Mm. And it being technically, I have to consider it as used. I probably just be a little bit off on the price just because I'm seeing pairs used online for like 220, 225. So I'll probably just be way off. I feel like you get more on your own. Okay. So I'll just hold off from them. Um, I could do the 525 here though, if you want to do that. All right, I'm set on it. All right, cool. What's the best way for you? Um, do you have Cash App or no Cash App? Um. I 
You could do Zell. Zell, okay, what's the number? It's 620, you're wrapping up here. It's starting to get cold, yo, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> it's brick. <laughs> it's brick out. It's brick weather. Definitely brick weather. It's puffer weather, so it's about to be 40 next week, like next Monday. Oh, it's time to bring the puffer out. Yeah, bro, it's, oof. Got dust, dust off of overlock. <laughs> <laughs> But it's, uh, today was kind of like a slow day. We did have a lot of orders, by like almost, I want to say like at least 60, 50, 60 orders. So shout out to everyone who copped something off us this past weekend. I seen someone in the DMs talking about my bears. They know. specifically said your name? Yeah. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> they're a Dolphins fan, so Ew. that's what I'm saying. <laughs> like I said, I don't watch too much football, but I would say I'd rather be a Bears fan than a Dolphins fan. I'm trying to get back on my good side. I no, I just like I, Chicago. No, I've, I've, had, <laughs> I've had a terrible take you had. It's not working. It's not, it's not that, though. No, it's not working. <laughs> <laughs> it's not working. Regular pizza or deep dish pizza? Regular pizza. I've had deep dish pizza. I've never had it before. It's too soupy. So, sorry, that. sorry, y'all Chicago people out there. Your deep dish pizza is overrated. <laughs> You might as well just eat like <laughs> you might as well just put like tomato sauce in like, a, in like a bread bowl and call that deep dish. Cause I've had deep dish pizza. It's not all that. Just have, just have a, <laughs> I'm gonna get flamed in the comments. Just have a, a bread based tomato bowl. Yeah, that's essentially what that is. I never had. I saw like I saw, like I always see like videos of how they make it, and it's crazy. Cause I've I've seen and heard like actual Chicago people. I don't know. I don't know the like Chicagoans, Chicagoans. I don't know. Chicago people say like it's actually like overrated like if you're from chicago you will know like it's not all that like people outside of it hype it up but i think it's because like where we're from we like we judge pizza totally yeah well, we judge a lot we of live things. and breathe pizza here in jersey bagels pizza hoagies or subs subs don't say don't say that, <laughs> that was kind of nasty <laughs> that's that, 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 that how south jersey philly bs we don't do hoagies it's a hoagie <laughs> So, what? Yeah, that was kind of nasty. That was wild nasty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's something else I'm missing, but my team's still the best team in the NFL. I don't care. Even though we're like 3 <laughs> 6. It's okay. Give me one more win. Ralph's going to pay me $50. Let me get this one and done because it's cold. My hands are cold. Because you guys, tomorrow, bro, you're still on my bad side. Just let me know. <laughs> Tell you guys, tomorrow. Peace. Uh. YouTube, what is good? We got some orders here. Let's look at them real quick. At the bottom, look at that. What are the odds? We got two Carmelo Anthony jerseys, one on the Knicks, one on the Nuggets. Lightnings used. We got the Safari, Glow in the Dark Bottom, Air Max Ones used. Brand new Midnights, brand new Red Flint, brand new Travis Scott's. We got these brand new Curries, something you don't see every day. Brand new Shadow 7. Why? If it ain't low, it don't go. Check out that piece right there. The Air Forces are fire. The LeBrons, I recently got those at the Flea, and I believe, again, that those were the ones he won his first championship in. And that's about it from me, guys. Anything for the people about these orders? Just put up that Yankee shirt yesterday. It's already out. That polo jacket. Didn't think he was going to pay for it, honestly. When I saw it was waiting payment, I just didn't think he was going to pay for it. But shout out to him. But actually paying those Steph Curry's, to me, those are like his best sneaker, his best model. That's my favorite Steph Curry sneaker. And that's about it. Best shoe in here, I'll probably say a little bit of curveball and say those Air Forces. Best shoe here is those Air Max it Safaris. Is. And shout out to the people who bought the jerseys. I really like the Saria jerseys right here. Well, actually, I'm not so great, and these two Anthony's right next to each other. The <laughs> Safari Air Maxes are really dope. Really love seeing those come back to the store. Those Travis's are definitely something different. Really like those Citrus Sevens. Really good classic right there. Put this hoodie up yesterday and this Yankee shirt yesterday as well. So shout out to Jay for putting those up. Those are going right out. All right, guys, I got a lot to do here. We're gonna pack up all the stuff and see what happens today. Did you print the label for the Yankee shirt? Huh? The Yankee yeah, shirt. Yeah, right here. Oh, I will, right. I should have seen the, uh, the, the other one shoe too. Yeah, no problem. I prefer Royal stuff to me personally. That, that's my favorite one out of all of them. Like my goal is to get an 85 Royal one day. That's like, like impossible. Some prices and just trying to find them. Yeah, you don't really see Royals like that. Mm -mm. Mostly like the, the Chicago's or the The Chicago's brands are the two main ones. 
black toe black toe is, is really one of the favorite. hardest ones to find you guys never have my size in anything what size <laughs> <laughs> that's five and a half so the oh, problem yeah. with that is like that's probably the best size women slash kid size it's probably the best size because that's the size that everyone's always asking for the problem with that though is it's kind of hard to get stuff like that because it goes for so much and a lot of times people don't wear that size don't want to pay that much exactly so anytime we get anything like really good in the five and a half it usually just sits in our warehouse for a long time and it just takes time especially with this market now like Something we probably bought back in the day, let's say for 500, it's probably going for 400 now, mm -hmm. just because market's down and right. it's, it's, it's just really hard. But you could definitely find stuff online because, like yeah, I said, like no, yeah. that's the perk of it. Like market is down, so you could stuff, right. you could find stuff for like a really good price, and it's a buyer's market right now. But let me see what we have them up at. It doesn't drop the price. What were you asking for for the um, fire reds? I mean, can you guys even do box on these? Let's see. I know we have like three or four pairs of a ten and a half right now. I have my ten year old watching your YouTube videos too. <laughs> <laughs> she comes with us sometimes. <laughs> she we have enough for three eighty five. I could drop them to uh three fifty for you. Drop them to three fifty and then I'll do box on the threes. So one fifty will be the difference. I can do that. Alright, that's cool. If you still want these, I think they probably should still be here next time you want them. He wants those blue paddas too. Wait, he has the orange. Not an Air Max guy? I'll never see you wearing Air Maxes. Uh, oh, New Balance, New Balance. I'm a big New Balance yeah. guy. So my problem with- I'm about to get my first pair. So what do you- uh, I, I recommend that? these. These are the simple gray, they're the dad shoes, but they're the most comfortable to me. It's, they go with everything. I wear them all the time. I literally like beat them down. Like my dad wears them, my mom wears them. My, I like the gray ones. Them. They all, I pick them up in the mall all the time and they're just, they're just so nice. They're just, they're just a beautiful made sneaky. Like my problem with Air Max is like, I didn't grow up on Air Maxes. So like, that's not really my error. But like my parents did, so like my parents are both 95s. My dad liked the the, the greens. My mom liked the solar reds. Oh yeah, the two best ones. To me, that's the best Air Max. The 95s are the most comfortable. Can I just give you 50 cash and put the rest on the card? Oh yeah, that's fine. So you're not going for those silver bullets on Saturday? <laughs> mm mm. And plus, they restocked them so many times already. I don't want to deal with them. It's a shame that they restocked that shoe. Since like 2016, 17, at least like four times already. Really? Mm hmm. I don't like them either. They're a great shoe. They're just so uncomfortable. I just don't like the look of them. It's, it's just like a classic look. Yeah. And I just feel like a shoe like that, like you can't go wrong. But if, like, if your feet are able to handle the pain, or if you think they're comfortable, by all means, I think you should get them. Mm -hmm. But like for someone like me, like he likes the 97s. He, right. He thinks they're comfortable. Like I've heard that before. Oh, you still gotta give me the 50 back. I gave you 100. Oh, my fault, my fault. Just making sure you yeah, know, that's all. No, you're good, you're good, my fault. Do you want to see the new balances that I want? Yeah, which ones? <laughs> they're just, is that a call? He's watching watch Yeah, those are all right. The 574 <laughs> is a five, I, I like 574. No one likes 574s. Those are a middle school shoe. Exactly, it's, it's what you said. They are the middle school shoe, but they are like really comfortable. They're really cool. They're a, they're a classic. They're like a Reebok classic. Like mm -hmm. you can't go wrong with right. those. Um, Plus they're leopard. Exactly. <laughs> and like we had a guy from um, Baltimore come here and we were like, we're talking about cause like New Balance is big out there. I'm like, you know, like, so what's like the big New Balance? He said, a lot of people wear like, like the 990 V5s and V3s like that, that I'm wearing now. But he said, like, really, like, growing up, like, the main New Balances were the 524s. Mm -hmm. yeah. That was the main one. Like, yeah. when you go back to school, your parents give you, like, the two-for-one deal, mm -hmm. like, two-for-fifty, um, so stuff like that. So, like, the, the 524s, to me, I, I like, I appreciate that. That's, like, the 991, 2, and 3s, right? That's what everybody messes with, really? So, right now, 550s are really big. That's that's one of the models that got a lot of new people into New Balance. It was the 550. Oh, the, five, the big one, yeah. Yeah, so the 550 is, like, right there on the corner. Yeah, and I like the... 650 is the taller uh, one. Trainer, <laughs> so a lot of people got into New Balance because of that shoe. Are yeah, they're separate? Uh, these are all man. Do you guys take Central's stuff? Nah, Central stuff are kind of like holding off on. Oh, yeah. These just 
throw me a prize or anything. Oh. If you even want them. It's a Kai Blazer. Yeah. Blazer, like, Blazer in general don't do well, mm -hmm. but this model yeah, really does do well. See, when I got those, I, I got them off the... Uh, off the, the website, it wasn't mm -hmm. off of a sneaker that they shipped me for those too. I spent like 168 on those. It got fucked. What are you asking for the zebras? Zebras? Again, zebras. I said two. I said two eighty five. I think two eighty five. So I think the zebra, uh, the zebras and the bows. I'll probably hold those for just because easy right now yeah. for us. Just uh, been a little slow. Price is not bad. I would just take pay out at that point. Okay. Um, this one I was a little bit lower on. I was at two eighty on this one. Two eighty. Yeah. You said three eighty. They dropped in price. Really? Yeah. That's the highest you got. 270? Uh, will be the best. Because you was originally at 380. I think that's probably like old numbers you're probably looking at. What do, what, uh, what have you use? Uh, I'll was? check in, I'll check in stock and go. Uh, the boat. Onto 380. That's why I'll check stock. I haven't checked stock. I only check go. Yeah, yeah. stock. They're like consistently at the 350 mark. Yeah. I see what you're saying on go. Yeah, I'll probably just hold off. Yeah, no problem. What do you think's gonna help the easy so like just try? Well for us they never really done well. Nah. So for us we kinda like usually don't really buy on that much just for us it's easier to move J's than it is Yeezy. Okay. Uh I did see today that Adidas is still gonna put out Yeezys just without his name. They're gonna use the um the stuff they have already for 2023, they're gonna use that stuff uh, without his name. Um I don't think much is really gonna change. I think the newer models that come out next year are going to be probably trash because they don't have the easy name on yeah. it. And I think it could potentially drive the market up with this stuff. Yeah. But stuff like a Zebra, um, Belugas, those are like classic Yeezys. Mm -hmm. Those are never going to dip in price in my opinion. Yeah. I think they're always going to be at where they're at or possibly go up more. Possibly like if he dies or something like down the line. But yeah. I think they'll be fine, honestly. A lot of people, can, they're panicking. If you have like the OG Yeezys, mm -hmm. You'll be fine, like Wave Runners and stuff like that. You'll be good. Right. You got how much for the Nintendo 64? Oh, that one's not for sale. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Looking at sell trade? Uh, sell. So. Yo, yeah. Luce, yo, Luce, let me hit you back when I get up out of here, though, bro. Alright. Yeah, I got like four more in the car, but you could check these ones out. What you asking for these? These are actually my boy's kicks, so he's just trying to get the best price on them. I mean, I'll text him here at work right now to see what you offer on them. Yeah, I would say, like, if he has a price in mind. I know, I think for the easy one, like, 300 i will probably, probably be off on these. The rest of them, I have no idea. I just know if he wanted, like, something like that for those. Yeah, I would say if he can, if he can find out a price on how much he wants for this stuff. That's because since he's not here, it'll be just easier, so I'm right, also not going, like, back and forth. Yeah, what up, Brody? Yeah, I'm at this. Get what? Uh, I ain't buying shit. You already know. Shit. Wait, what you wanted for these? I'm in the store right now. Oh, okay, okay. Because I thought you wanted three before. He said you 220 on these. Okay, 220. 220 on these. And what you wanted on, on, on these ones? These ones. Two? On, on, on these. Uh, what you wanted for these? 180 for the purple ones. And then. What you want for the Oreos? 240. And these are like, yeah. So I got I got the other four. I can only carry four at a time, man. Shit. <laughs> I brought the eight pairs down. The other um the kids ones is the sevens. Over the sevens, the sevens and shit around. Right?
I'll probably just pass on this stuff right now. Just price is too high on this stuff. And I'll probably be way off and we'll kind of back up with stuff like this. Okay. So I'll probably just hold off for now. Okay. He got some other, he got, I got like four more pairs if you want to look at them. Uh, I can look at them, but for this stuff, I'll probably pass on. All right. All right. All right. Hold, let, me, let me go grab them real quick. All right. This is everything? Yeah. I wish we look for everything. Uh, I didn't come up with like a grand totally X. I don't know if you wanted everything or not. But, uh -huh. um, but like, maybe these I'd be interested in. Okay. Um, these I probably want to keep. So I probably want to be able to use the Okay. Yeah, no That's more shoes in the bag. Uh, the bag's empty now, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's empty. Actually, no, I'm bugging. Never mind. Where you kind of price them at? Uh -huh. Cause I may not take them, but I kind of want to see where you're at price wise. Um, like retail. <laughs> and that's everything now, right? Oh yeah, that's all. So I would say like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let me know what you want for these seventeen. Um, these two are maybe depend on what you have a price at. Okay. This is out. We price the fours. Uh, the breads. Yeah. I think that was five. Yeah, I think it's probably gonna be way off on this stuff. So I'm not even close to the number. Uh, what do you at? I'm at four. Pricing, pricing the traps at thirteen. I mean, pricing at a thousand doesn't really make sense because they're going for a thousand. Okay. A little bit under. Gotcha. To be honest. Okay. So um, what do you, uh, what are you like quoting the traps? Uh, just going off your prices. If, if I'm gonna nitpick, I probably only want them. Probably I mean, not. I'll, 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 I'll work with you. I don't know. That's just like my, my, my goal number, you know what I'm saying? No, I feel you, but you're pricing your stuff kind of like market. I was looking at the like, highest bid I was going by. I wasn't going by the most ass. The ones that I really want would probably be the bread fours, probably all the fours, and the trash would probably be the main ones I would really want. Everything else, I'm not really that high on. So I can work with these one, two, three, four, five. Kind of work with these. What would what would be like your uh, your most for like everything though? Your, I was at four. Like, that's, your, that's your max, like four. Because I'll, I'll I'll work with you, but because like, I was just going by a high speed. 
So I wasn't gonna buy like low size screen. Yeah, I was gonna buy payout and okay, yeah, what yeah. it's selling for basically. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Just like a thousand with this one, it doesn't make sense because you wouldn't make any money. Not for sure. Um, it is a great shoe, bro. What, what is that size? Thirteen. Okay, gotcha. So what would you want here? Um, what do you think about like everything for forty five? Everything for forty five? Yeah, that was a fifty eight. Came down a lot. I'm trying to work out. Trying to work it out. But, like only just, just the highest bid. Just like everything came out came out to like uh, fifty eight seventy. Um, but I mean I, I'm definitely down to work out. I'm definitely trying to get rid of all of it. So. Do for the four fours and the traps. Just, just, just looking over it. Might just pass me Yeezys, honestly. Then I kind of just want to stay away from them. Start the thing about it. Anyway, you can just like put this all in by chance, because you know the four are like the good ones. You know, you're trying to get rid of both. It's possible. Can you do forty-two? I'll do 42. Alright, cool. What's the best way for you? Uh, Zell. Zell? Alright, cool. Alright guys, I hope you guys like the uh, new camera setup that we got going. We're trying out different things, trying to bring you guys good content. I'm not sure if you caught that, but Jordan just had a you know big negotiation go down, $4,000 worth of product. Probably really good stuff. Looks like all types of different sizes, so hopefully we can move some stuff there. I just wanted to shout out two people who uh, made purchases from us because that's obviously always important, and I know I wasn't on the video earlier because I was a little stressed out. I got too much stuff going on, but I got a second, so I wanted to shout out first off Brenton. Shout out to Brenton. I'm not sure where you're located, Brenton because uh, this is going to eBay authentication but Brenton picked up these brotherhoods in a size 13 if you check the price on the brotherhoods in a size 13 it's one of those sizes that's actually like a little higher so these for about 175 shipped so Brenton I greatly appreciate you and this one I need to shout out Brett from Florida Brett hit us up via DM in regards to an offer he made on eBay he made an offer on these mochas and he also purchased a shadow 2.0 GS size he hit us up on eBay he said he made us an offer on the mocha we didn't respond and it was very simple obviously his offer was 500 shipped we had him up for 600 I said, do you have Zell? He said, yes. He was worried about getting burned as obviously all you guys should be. You no, know, don't be so quick to Zell anybody. Just make sure you do all your research. Make sure you know for a fact that you are comfortable Zelling that person, Venmoing that person, PayPal gifting that person, cash apping that person, whatever it is, because there are a lot of people who don't do good business out there. Even if they have a YouTube channel, even if they have an Instagram, even if they have a location, there's still a lot of bad business people out there. So, you know, Brett was a little skeptical as he should, but I reassured him that obviously, you know, he said he watched us on YouTube and I said, hey, you know, we're not, you know, going to let a $500 purchase you know ruin my reputation that's clearly the most important thing the money yeah, that means something but the reputation is is probably the most important thing at the end of the day so i had to shout out brett for trusting in us and uh making sure that we were going to stay true to our word obviously so he sent in that 500 dollars ship and we're getting out these mochas which i feel like came down a little in price right because we were selling these for like 600 a pop i tried to adjust the market accordingly he told me he offered me five in my head i'm like oh well if we didn't take five they're going for six but i checked market these are about five before shipping on StockX and goat he did just order a gs pair from us as well so you know we, we try to keep Keep, uh, our clients happy especially if they consistently purchase with us so brett these are heading to florida jordan anything for the people about that big buy we just made or anything we took pictures of or anything just did a big buy i'll talk about that in a second but it's been slow lately right broin mm -hmm. it's been slow lately so mm -hmm. you know we try to keep busy here try to find something to do all the time and it slows down so we've been doing a lot of uh, posting lately on ebay a lot of buying of course but there's a lot of stuff in our warehouse that ha that has not been up a lot of stuff we have for a while now again today's just one of those days where it's you know it's wednesday it's a little slow not really that fast pace so you know I went to the bag, try to find some stuff that's not on eBay. Because a lot of times you guys ask for stuff, and you know sometimes you say we don't have it because we truly think we don't have it. Sometimes stuff expires on eBay, and we forget to relist it or post back up. But a couple of things that I found back here, you guys will see if you check eBay. We have a used Grinch size 10. We also have a brand new one too. Berwin took pictures of all these stuff. You guys see the great pictures. Shout out to Berwin. We have some um, red Concord lows. We have another pair of Kobe's. This one though is. 
the Bruce Lee's. I think Berwin said this is the one that he kind of wants, but like the price is just like crazy. I don't blame him. I want these two. And it reminds me of, again, I know there's a lot of controversy going on with him, but aside from all that, just the shoe we're talking about, you know, the Bruce Lee model, you know, these are pretty fire. So size 10, got some championship red dunks that we had displayed, but not up. We got some metallic purple fours, some Ama 2, some Concord 11 size 9, some rubber dunks, some full time dust dunks. We have some UNLV in the 10, some playoffs, a lot, a lot of stuff going up. Boom, since we're right here, did a big buyout. We got right here, if you know, you know this box. Just looking at it, I'm not gonna show you guys the label. You know, if you've been around this new game for a while, you would know like this era. So we have the six, boom, boom. These are brand new. What's your favorite out of the two? Six. I the sixes, yeah. The sixes? They're underrated. I think that they're underrated. Like the, the pack? Yeah. The other one is the seven, right? Mm hmm And I feel like the seven gets more love than the than the white one does. But then again, at the end of the day, I like white sneakers more than uh, black sneakers. Yeah, exactly what Berman said. It's funny because I prefer the sevens over the sixes because I like black sneakers more than white sneakers. Yeah, they're brand new too. This is on sevens is weird, but yeah, they're brand new. We got another pair. I think that was on camera last week. Of these 85 varsity reds best shoe of course typical hype beast this is a size 13 so anyone out there who wears a size 13 who's looking for these we have them probably my least favorite out of the lows i think burn said this is your second favorite right mm -hmm. burn said this was the second favorite so you got something for the small feet people out there you know usually don't buy smaller sizes because of the price couldn't knock it the trash got six british khaki brown felt like we had to get them because you know it's always good to have a little bit of heat in that size even though it doesn't really sell well for us but it's just good to have some of these things for you know females or kids or anyone out there who's just look for that size and then sure you don't really see every day oh those are the uh so flies see senor they are how you feel about these they're all right it's a fit <laughs> i could see you rocking these <laughs> i could definitely see you but a trucker hat buy these oh. buy these yeah. buy these <laughs> i want to make you buy these can we get, can we get a close up bam oh, oh, too close get there if you guys can see, it comes with three different laces. Suede is all right. Is it all right, Jordan? Would you say is it buttery? It's not buttery. Oh, it's not a cop. <laughs> <laughs> but if you like the sneaker, I like oh, that. I the, like little, that. the little logo on the back is fire, though. Pass on because they're going for box. Yeah, they're going. Um, and racial blues because we have like four ready. Yeah. I'll hold off on those as well. Okay. That's cool. I was thinking maybe the most likely deal I'll do. Would you potentially do three for both of these? The Easters and the Georgetown. Together? Yeah. Easter size 700. And I had these. I have 170. I think it's a bit payout. I would also do the dunks on the Easters for three. Which ones? The Narlanders. Okay. I think ask for the, the not hard as well, I was like 307. I would do these three for three. Three. I mean these two my fault. Those two. That's cool. Is cash or Zell available? Uh Zell. That's good. Yeah, these I probably will pass on. You know, that's cool. But I'll do these three. You can go with these two for Thank you. Yeah, no problem. stress from coming here i broke my headlight and it's like right outside the police station oh, so I'm yeah. like, oh, that is awesome. debating here real quick we're not necessarily debating we're just talking about some things um one thing i think i need to mention is nowadays it's crazy because sneakers come out you're anticipating them you look forward to trying to acquire them you acquire them and then within a month's time that sneaker is on the secondary market for less than what you paid for it that's just crazy to see like this sneaker right here i i like it a lot i think it's a really nice pair happen to hit on the sneakers app it's a 300 retail pair 
pair. $300 retail for a pair of sneakers is absurd. Mind you, I didn't think I was going to hit on the app. I didn't know I was going to hit on the app. And I hit. So when I got them in hand, I like them. I tried them on. They are a little snug. I realized that they're going for less on the resale apps than they are from Nike. I personally think that obviously consumers are usually always right, especially when it comes to the big corporations and the big brands and stuff. So when Nike's producing sneakers that come out that are retailed at 300 that quickly on the secondary market are going for less than that, clearly there's a disconnect and there's an issue there. The sneaker probably should have retailed for 200 or 225, maybe even 250, but 300 was way too high. So as bad as I feel of being that guy to return stuff to Nike, if I can save like $50 or $100, you know, money's money, right? Like it doesn't make sense for a, a regular consumer to buy these for $300 if they can easily go buy them somewhere else for less money. That's at least what I think. It's just interesting to see because you usually wouldn't think that a sneaker would come out retail and then so quickly go for less than retail. And that's this sneaker. That's also other sneakers that's been coming out lately. You know, I don't know if it's an issue Nike's having with producing product that people want to buy and wear. Now that I'm kind of like thinking about it off top, I feel like because less people want to wear the sneakers that come out, the price gets valued down because everyone who got this shoe probably said, hey, I'm going to try to resell it. And when everyone goes and tries to resell something and there's no demand for it, you know, if, if you guys, you know, take economics classes, a little supply, a little demand, it's just very simple. If there's no demand for these, but the supply is abundant, the price is going to come down because there's no demand. The reason there's no demand for this is because people don't want to actually wear the sneaker. They just want to make a little money off it. And that's a lot of times in the sneaker game, right? The taxi one, the yellow toes. I know there was definitely a demand for them, but I assume the real supply is going to be for the people who want to resell them where they think they're going to like go for a lot of money. You know, the lost and founds, a lot of people, we were talking about this earlier about how what's going to happen when they get them. Like, are they actually going to wear them or are they just going to like try to resell them? Or are they going to hoard them for two years and think that they're going to go up like the 2015s or 94 or whatever? So yeah, I think that's personally my thought on it is just simple supply and demand. If there's no demand for the shoe, regardless of what retail price is, it's just going to drop. Hopefully Nike and their researchers and marketers and all that stuff can do better with figuring out what the best demand is. That way they won't price a sneaker like this at $300. They'll price it at 180, 200, where someone like me will buy them and be able to enjoy them and not say, hey, Nike just duped me for $80 because I could get these on GOAT for like $230. I'd have been a change. Like go out to dinner with that. It just hit my head again. I bought a pair of Midnight Navy 6s on the restock and then I saw a reseller posted a pair with no box lid for $130. I was like, shit, I'll buy the pair for $130 and return the pair to Nike for $200 because that's a $70 discount basically and it's a shoe that I actually want to wear and enjoy. So I don't care about the box or resale value at that point. All I'll say is I just think there's just oversaturation. Yeah, that, that's sure. all. You gotta let us salivate. Dunk. Like, let us, like, yeah. want. Like, let me chill <laughs> yeah. for a second. Like, like, I don't even think. I don't anticipate know, I'm gonna be honest. I don't know how some of these people buy every new release because it's a shoot every day and it's $100, it's $200, it's $300. Yeah. It's insane to me. I, I don't know. It's, I don't keep up with it anymore. I used to keep up a lot more with, like, what's coming out. And now it's just too hard to keep up. I'm gonna be honest with you. I always laugh because, like, I say, I always gotta pay resale. But, like, I never hit on anything. I used to get upset because it's, like, like, I really want the sneaker, but like there's too many box and stuff like that. And it's like whatever, it's like it's the cost of playing the game. But I pay resale sometimes or a lot of times. And now like I've gotten to a point where like if I don't hit on the sneaker, I don't even stress it because like they're gonna dip right back down to retail or less than that. Like Evan said, I don't know how people are buying like every single release because it's like I'm gonna be honest, a lot of these back-to-back -back releases are like really mid. I'm not even talking about like anything hype. I'm just talking about these GRs just been really mid this year. There's been a few good ones, saying the Midnight Navies, the Georgetown Sixes. Citrus Sevens. Yo, someone gotta get Jordan a pair of Georgetown Sixes. That's nah. Not <laughs> nah. Yeah, they got the gray hoodie. Like, that's what they do every day here, bro. <laughs> Green Bean Fives. There's, like, there's been some like some decent stuff, but overall, I just feel like collectively, it's just been really bad. Like, like Evan A just said, like we're not really like beasting for any sneaker. Like the shoe game and the shoe market is totally different. Like everyone is beasting for a lost and found, but it's like I think they're beasting for it to resell. Personally speaking, you no. Know, if you want that shoe and you want to enjoy that shoe, like get that sneaker. Like pay that price because it's gonna be low. Don't try to buy that shoe and like damn, ten years like that shoe's gonna be that price. Like just rock the sneakers because in ten years that price can go down. You never know. You so. Can make it five more times mm -hmm. exactly yeah. you know so like just rock just rock these sneakers basically and like i think that's the reason why the market's down because like everyone is buying the shoe to resell not wear and it's like you know wear your kicks you see people say oh my god how can you wear like thousand dollar travis scott twelve hundred dollar union like whatever the case may be it's because like they want to wear the sneaker like that's the point of these sneakers like they're not they're not trophies they're made to be worn if you buy sneakers just to put them in a case and just salivate over them it's like that's just weird to me wear the sneakers basically
everybody. Just wear your cakes. That is true. I see it both ways, but there's this like documentary back in the day. I forget who says it. Basically, they just start talking about how like uh, a lot of people just like collect shoes. And it was basically someone that's like, oh, I know this white boy. Like he had all these shoes, but he would never wear them. And like, and again, I get both perspectives because like Jordan said, shoes shouldn't be looked at as trophies. But then again, I have a lot of sneakers that I look at as trophies. And there are shoes that you get and you want to hold on to and cherish and not wear. But then again, there should be both. I think that's the thing. There should be some type of balance. Like a lot of people out here come in here um, and just strictly get sneakers to put on a trophy or just strictly say to me, Jordan, Burrow, and Evan, hey guys, what do you think I should invest in right now? Whatever makes you happy, basically. I can't tell you what I think is a good investment sneaker wise. If I told you the lost and found is a good investment six months ago, I would have lied, right? Because it's not clearly. Whether it be this market or any market, instead of like buying something for the investment purpose, it's good to know that you can, you know, get some money back, but just make sure you actually enjoy the item you're buying or you want to wear it or enjoy it or whatever that is. I used to be that guy who wanted to get every single Jordan that would come out, every single sneaker that would come out. Now I'm realizing that it's just like, if it's not meant to be, like if it happens, it happens. You know, if it's not meant to be, it's not meant, meant to be. I keep talking about like the Jordan 4s and Jordan's talking to me about how like, I don't need those or whatever the, uh, what are the cement navies? Like, oh yeah, man. yeah like I, I, I do want a pair of those. I feel good that I, I'm not really like caring much about the lost and founds. A part of me feels like I'm kind of like an old head in that lost and found debate because I have 2015s, I have 94s, like I'm good. If one comes around, if I hit for retail, if someone brings one in, I get it for a decent price, maybe I'll grab it. You know, we had our pair in hand, but from what I'm seeing online, it's just like a lot of bad things, a lot of quality control issues. I saw Nightwing, shots to Nightwing, he was talking about how he got a pair from GOAT and it was like, doesn't even sit correctly on oh. the like table, Damn. it's like off. Oh, at the same point though, we got what we wanted. Last dance, go to it real quick, Merwin. I mean, this probably has a lot to do with why this lost and found shoe is coming out right here, right? Michael Jordan getting blisters on his feet, wearing that sneaker at the garden. Like that's one of the biggest memories, I guess, from that documentary a lot of people might think about and not a lot of people didn't know about. Since, you know, that documentary basically changed the game, it makes sense and they're producing enough shoes for everyone, which is good in a sense, but uh, really cool box, all that good stuff, $300. I mean, hmm, I don't know. I think they, I think Nike really messed up with that shoe not even like the shoe but like like they gotta understand like it's a jordan 2 no one's buying jordan 2s really you know what i'm percent. saying that and that percent. retail price is crazy it like is. for j balvin to have a shoe retail for 300 out of all the people like you could have that shoe I like know, right? travis scott virgil oh. drake like all these people you give j balvin a 300 that's crazy to me so and, and we talked about what it's supposed to represent right mental health and how yeah. you know you're supposed to so like a mental health sneaker you need to have $300 to yes, get right. it. Like, let's, yeah. like Nike, hello. A mental health sneaker should be easy to obtain. That should be a hundred bucks, a hundred fifty. Mm -hmm. You know, they should cut the retail price a little bit for that. But uh, we're not going to get too in depth into it. But again, I really like these little bit of segments because this is a sneaker store. We are all into sneakers. We have our own opinions on shoes and that's the beauty of it. Again, I'll say that a hundred times. And I think it's cool that we get those chances to talk about sneakers and what we think about the market, what we think about shoes. If you disagree with us, don't take it any which way. We, you know, we agree with your opinion as well. It's all good. That's about it. I didn't shoot yesterday, so where's the ball at? Catch you guys next time. One done. Oh, yeah. Oh! All right, you guys, today's Thursday, November 10th. We got some orders going out. Not much, but some good things. Let's start up here. We got these New Balance. I'll go with Burns Fit right now. This would definitely go with your fit. You know what's funny? I've seen people wear your fit with these before. This I'm is, not mad at it. Not Actually, my favorite New this Balance. Is, this, is, this is not good New Balance. It's definitely being, not good. It's not good New Balance. It's like a 574 mixed with, I don't even know. It looks like a 574 upper, though. But we got some New Balances going out. We got some used Cool Gray 3s. Really clean All Stars. Minimal Hill Drag, but really clean sneaker. That's the wrong PlayStation. We did sell. A brand new gray pair. So shout out to the person who bought those. We had to swap that out and get the actual one in there. We sold some maroon sixes right here. I heard you guys talking about this in the middle of there. What are you guys saying? They originally came out like what in the 90s? Uh, this so is, this is part like when I saw like the original ones, I really wanted them at one point. But then when they re-released, I was like, eh. And they hit the same. Yeah. Because like the the 90s pair is just built so differently. It's high, right? Yeah. The leather, the quality, everything is just different. I can see both of you guys wearing this. I'd, I'd, I'd wear those. I'd definitely, definitely wear those. I don't really like these. I'm gonna be honest. I know they're like an OG colorway. I don't like maroon, so that's like my my reason why I don't like them. It is a cool, clean sneaker if that's like your style and stuff like that. Actually, I can't see with these. <laughs> yeah, I, I really can't. Cool Gray Four is going out. The prices on these are crazy now. That's that last dance effect. But one of my least favorite fours out there. Another Cool Gray Eleven going out. This one is a ten that we just got back the other day. Probably one of, if not the best Kobe shoe ever, in my opinion. The Grinches. I 
I remember watching him play Indies on Christmas Day, one of them, and then seeing the price on like Fight Club, seeing like, damn, I'm not getting those because the prices were crazy. Like $1,000 for a shoe back in the day was like astronomical, but he's a really, really fire. Saw him for a pretty penny. Had him for a little bit of time, so really happy to see these go out. We have some alternate 89 fours, some champ color dunks, Iowa dunks. I want to shout that person out. He called yesterday right before we closed, and he said that he wanted the, you know, size 10 and a half panda dunk. He's from the Bay Area. His friend or cousin was going to pick him up because they lived in Clifton. I told him we could do a better price. Um, he was ready to pay that 240 ship, and we did a better price for him, and he was really happy. So shout out to Chris from the Bay. We're going to get that out to you. We're going to throw some stickers in there for you. Again, appreciate you for shopping with us. The actual PG Playstations, the Mexico Air Forces from 2006. This shoe is really fire. I forgot where A got these from. Is this the one from Alex? Might be. Yeah, I think this is the one from Alex. This shoe is really fire. I thought about keeping or buying these, but I just didn't want this shoe to crumble on me. World Cup's about to start, so I was going to win it. I don't know how to track it, but... Brazil? <laughs> that's, that's, a, that's, that's a good one. I guess. I don't know. US, if not... I don't know, the U.S. team's kind of trash. Nah, yeah, the U.S. is trash. I, know <laughs> I don't know nothing about soccer, but what I do know is that they're trash. Yeah. I heard, like, Argentina has a really good team. I gotta go Argentina, just because it's messy. But we got these going out. We got some Gucci foam posits going out. We got some chrome foam posits going out. We got some camo foams going out. We got some Kyries. We got some bread easies. We got the, I want to get this correct, Spanish Heritage Month Detroit Pistons warm-up shirt and a vintage New York t-shirt and a beanie. We get a person who a beanie. But in the meantime, ain't Thing that sticks out to you guys, best shoe, best shoe all that. Here. Best shoe is here, obviously, the Grinches, in my opinion. Shout out to the person who bought those alternates. I think those are kind of a slept on four. Those are cool. Shout out to the person who bought the beanie. It's starting to get cold out there. You guys need beanies. We have a ton in stock. You know, check it out. Best shoe in here, gotta agree with the guys and say the Grinch. And shout out to the guy who bought the beanie. And those Air Forces are definitely some classics. Really like the uh, yellowing on those and just the overall age look. So shout out to whoever bought those. Shout out to Nolan from Florida for copying the beanie. We really appreciate you. Like Evan and Berwin said, it's getting cold out. Gotta wrap the head up. Gotta wrap the head up. <laughs> um, Quality too. Where they're heavyweight. Yeah. I'm saying, yo. Get cold out there, get a break, and the shovel. Throw the beanie on. Know what I'm saying? Best shoe in here. It is the Grinch, but like I'll also say like the Mexico Air Forces. Mm. We're gonna get this stuff packed up, wrapped up, shipped out, and you guys can enjoy it. Catch you guys in a second. Cause ham is right here trying to sell something. By the look of them boxes, <laughs> it might be decent today. It might be decent. <laughs> Two sixty all the way. Two? Two sixty. You said two hundred together? I said two sixty. Oh, I thought you said two hundred. You sure you didn't say two hundred? No, I said two sixty. You positive about that. Am I right? Am I yeah. Did you got me thinking like yeah? <laughs> <laughs> you said one fifty for these. And one ten? And one ten. Yeah, the box price is one, one. Box price is one ten, I think. Can you do uh, 220? Because these are low. These drop. I know price. they drop, but 240. 220, man. 240. I really don't want these. Why? It's not all that. And they're low, too. They're going for 130. Those are going for 150, 160. You said what? 220. Damn, you giving me box, box for both? Definitely box for that one. Um, well, that'd be box one twenty. I was at for that one. I was at one so two thirty. I was at one and two twenty and one and one twenty. Well, so you're not getting the box. <laughs> oh, that box. Right. <laughs> no, it's one ten. That one's definitely one ten. Just do two thirty. Hey, pal. Yes. Got my fruity pebble bras coming in. The. Uh, Dunk, so I said, let me just get rid of these shits. And guess what I hit on? I don't know. Uh, see, Lost you might not even. Nah. Well, no, nah, I wish I did. And I forgot I signed up on the website. What's that? The All Black Golf uh, team. They got the. Uh, those oh. are golf shoes? No, no, they're regular. They're regular twice. Oh, those are dope. I actually like them. What were you looking for? It's a 1200. 1200.
Okay, how much is it for this guy? Well, like three. I don't even know if I had the lost and found. Yeah, that was a swap yeah. some shit. Nah, it's, it's, a, it's a size 12. Yeah, he it's just told me. But it's like, what, 600? Yeah, it's because it's like a cosignment pair. Right. Hey, where you at for the day last? Probably like 300. Yeah, 300 yeah. with the off whites. Off whites, I'd say 250, no box. 250, cool grays. These just like 150. <laughs> and uh, uh, probably like 140 yeah, for the uh, aquas. What's been going on though, man? Shit, man. Same old, same old. So AG, he good. He, he he got some shit at home that he got to deal with, but he probably do later. But he's cool though. Oh, what's up? Oh, these this this all going out, right? Yeah, that's all going out. Damn. The jack I might hold up on just for us. That's gonna be a hard move. I'll just be low if I took that in. Okay. With the other stuff though, I was at six thirty for these three. I mean these four. I was at six thirty. I was I was a little bit less. I think you said two fifty here. I was at two. I was at about like a hundo here. I was at two here. I was at one thirty here, which is six thirty exactly. And you was at three okay, there, which will right. make it like the same like So yeah, so I just came down a little bit and I passed on that. Uh, you said how much for these and these? Which two? Uh, I was at two thirty for these two. Uh, just with box page, we usually pay around like one thirty. That's why. Okay. And no box. The market dropped down a little bit, so I was at two there just because this new, this used pair is going on last like three. Okay. No, you said two like for these? Like yeah. Like, bro, Did you say three? Yeah. I only bought these probably like two times. Yeah. Oh, stars are still there. Keeping me at 650 for everything. So I like, call these like 220 basically. I'll do the two for these. Mm -hmm. I'll probably hold. I'll we'll probably hold on these. Okay. I'll probably get them a little higher. Yeah. Um. Yeah. As far as these three though, yeah, they got two. What's this four thirty? Yeah. Brooklyn, Brooklyn, and then one Manhattan. That's cool. That's cool. Uh, what's the best way, Zell? Right? Yeah, I don't think it's you got uh, you got Apple Pay? So yeah, we do. Apple Pay, cool. I bet. Okay. Yeah. I don't know if that's a big deal for you guys. Bro. No, not really. How much are we asking for these? Probably like 200. Okay. I got these. These are smoked though. Okay. Yes. Those I'll probably hold off for them. Um, trade wise, what did you see? Or did you see anything? Uh, I was just going to look around, really. Yeah, go ahead and look around, see if you find anything. I'll let you know where I'll be at. So you're good on 200 for those, right? Uh, I'll probably be less. Um, if, it was, if it was cash, I'll probably be at like 150. Store, store credit like 170. 170? Yeah. Alright. What you guys want for these? Uh, is that the 8.5? I'm pretty sure. Yep. Uh, let me check. Uh, 260. 260? Mm hmm. You do 220 on them? Uh, nah. Probably not. We had them up for a little bit more. Yeah, so I'll do this. And they fit fine. Uh, yeah. Alright, you want a bag? Uh, no, I'm good. Yeah. So, you said I keep these two, right? Huh? So you didn't want these either? Yeah, those I'll pass. I'll do just a little too beat up. But yeah, I'll do these for those two dogs. That's cool with you. Alright, All right, there you go, man. You guys have a good day. You too, bro. How are we going? Yeah, bro. I was wondering, uh, I've been watching your, you know, watching your uh, show since like 2020 since the uh, shipping next. Oh, nice. You know? Yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely a big fan of it. Um, I actually see them all up until this point. I see that you think you go to like storages, storage, um, storage facilities, but I have everything. We're just about to move everything down to the garage. I have like close to maybe 45, eh, maybe 45 plus pairs. I definitely want to get rid of all that. Um, I have a bunch of jerseys, but tags still like Bo Jackson, it's Kobe Bryant, Dallas Strawberry. I have a lot of old uh, vintage shit, so I just wanted you to, um, if I can set up maybe something with you in the next couple of weeks. I know you got the marriage going on. Congratulations on that as well. Yeah, thank you. Um, what what's Sizes are the jerseys roughly? Are they all the same size? Uh, or they all, yeah, I'm not a reseller. It's all the things personal. It's 52. 52, so it's like the double X. Okay, that's not it's too bad. Just cut. So it's 10 and a half. I have maybe a couple tins, because I wear tins and Air Force Ones, but everything else, like the Jordans, are 10 and a half. I might have, I might have like one, maybe like one or two 11s. Um, that's about it. Okay. Yeah, I'm not a reseller. It's all the things personal. It's 52. 
I think it's just 10 and a half, 10 and 11. Okay. Do you have some type of list or something like that together? I'm not into um. I'm totally. I'm be honest. I'm not into social media at all. So I'm not big on like. I'm not. I don't even do all that. Um. I mean, I could. I mean, it's all joint ones. They're all those all BS. I know you know with the market right now, it's going to depend on you know the shoe. Maybe retail or under retail, depending on you know what what you want it is. Um, there's a Chicago one there. 2013. Um, we have Fear Fours, Fear Fives. Okay. Um, so so I guess uh, I mean I'd have no problem showing up. Checking Checking out the stuff, making a video out of it, making you an offer, all that good stuff. It's just my issue is sometimes like I just need to know kind of what ballpark you're in because you know obviously I don't want to show up and then our prices are just like way off. No, no, we're gonna, no, no, we're gonna make a deal. I mean, I'm, talk, I'm not talking about a story. Like I know you have to make a profit. No, yeah, of course. Watching since 2020, we watch, you know, just all, you know. Yeah, for kind of sure. Like so I kind of know, like what, I know mean, you gotta make a profit. I know, like for example, like um, I have a Chicago 2013. Like I bought it literally. I've had it for the last. Like 10 years and I've probably tried it on twice. Like probably like literally like three times because it's an 11. So I'm always kind of debating on should I keep it, should I not keep it? So then I decided no, it's time for me to get rid of it. I mean, I'm gonna make a deal. I mean, I'm gonna get rid of everything. I'm sorry, I just got too much shit. I'm just tired of it. My, my, my taste change. So we're gonna make a deal. I would say the next step would be if you can get together some sort of list with just an estimate of like what you're looking for for the whole lot. Obviously, the whole bundle if you want to sell it all at once. I mean, do you want to? Because I know you do. I mean, when you do it, what we do is to just break it down shoe by shoe. Yeah, you can do that too as well. Okay. Um, that's okay. totally fine. But that way, like, you know, we can kind of bundle it up together. If you can maybe email that list over to us, something like that. That way I could take a look at it roughly and then just see kind of if, if maybe we could work something out. Obviously, I would have to come and see everything or you can yeah. bring it all but it seems like you'd rather me just pull up you know obviously i don't want to waste your time and i don't want to waste my time so if we could come to some sort of at least kind of know where each other's heads are at when it comes to the numbers on the stuff i guess i can just go off of what like because even in, even the, the cup ones that have better like yeah, that, that's like that's the thing. I mean, I mean, it, it, it's going to be tough to you know because there's just a lot of factors when it comes to pricing and, and like you okay, said, the marking. So just just I would say just. Uh, it, it's hard, man. I would just say do do what you do. You can try whatever way you want to do it. Either way, you send me the list. I'll break down why I'm off on this, why I'm off on that. You know, I'll throw you my offer. You can decide on what to do with it. You know, usually when we kind of buy like the bigger buyouts when it's just like a lot of stuff we kind of make an offer on the whole lot it's kind of like you know take it or leave it type of thing because we, we try to at least get uh, somewhat close to what we can do but yeah if you can if you can get together what you have for sale make a list of some sort with a little bit of pricing i'll check it out and we can go from there okay cool guys all right man thank you yeah no problem bro have a good one all right, doc. All right, guys, not sure how much you guys saw me today because I had a lot of stuff to go through earlier this morning. You got today done. We've been dropping a lot of videos for you guys. I feel like one every day almost this week. So, you know, that's on purpose. We're really trying to pump out that content for you guys for these last couple months before we end the year off. Hopefully, we're going to end the year off strong. Shout out to everyone who's been shopping on the eBay store. We've been hitting crazy numbers this month and last month. And hopefully, you know, December as well as the end of November, we're going to finish up. I don't know if we spoke about football, but obviously the play tonight is Cordell Patterson touchdown. So, hopefully, I don't don't jinx it. Who wins tonight? I don't know who wins tonight, man. It's the Falcons and um, Panthers. Panthers. You would you would think the Falcons are gonna win, of course, but saying that makes me think opposite. But yeah, I'm gonna say the Falcons are gonna win. Cordell's gonna score a touchdown, of course. Who wins that, man? Panthers are winning tonight. He looks confident. You want both 50 on that? <laughs> oh wait, he's gonna, he's gonna put 50 on that, Jordan. We play each other in fantasy. No, I'm getting dog, bro. Oh, man. <laughs> he has Tyreek. I know. I saw. You, you <laughs> want to know the matchups? I'm gonna tell you how bad this no, matchup you is. Guys, you got, you need some, you need this some, is you suicide. Got Chubb. Now Chubb, you go crazy. You need some people. To go I need crazy. Chubb to score like eight fucking touchdowns. <laughs> Where's your defense at, man? You got a, you got a plan or something? Hey, we can make a trade, bro. I got defenses on deck. What's the defense gonna do? They're gonna be like I mean, five wild points. We also say that Evan's playing against Justin Fields this week only because he didn't listen to me. I said Evan, <coughs> you should probably pick up Justin Fields just so, I, just so Jordan doesn't get him. Not that he would have, anyways. But he has Jalen Hurts, Tyreek Hill, Godwin, Derrick Henry, Montgomery, Goddard. The Great. same people I have in my other league. That's gonna go off. He has to my whopping Andy Dalton, Adam Thielen, <laughs> <laughs> Donna Mooney, Cole Komet, 
Wanda Robinson. Can you imagine he wins? He oh might actually God. win. I've seen crazier things happen. I am projected to get blown out by 40 points. 42 to be exact. I don't think it's, it's going to be a blowout, though. I think yeah. it's going to be closer yeah, than yeah, it. For sure. That's, That's Henry. You have three it's really good players who have possibilities of going off. Jacobs is due for a crazy game. Yeah. Chubb always goes off. And who's that third guy? Debo. Debo's coming off of injury. You know he mad about seeing what McCaffrey did. He's taking them touches. I have something, actually. Um, Someone someone DM me about this, and I don't know how he should do it. But maybe at the end of our video, maybe we can say drop a question, and we can maybe answer in the, in the next video. A lot of you guys have been mentioning that, like drop a Q&A or blah, blah, blah. So here it is. You got any questions for anyone on the team? Drop them in the comments right now. We'll try to answer them in the next video if possible don't be mean don't be rude we'll try our best to answer the questions to the best of our abilities if you have a question directed to one of us directed towards us and if this works out we'll, we'll continue to do it whose shot is it it's I. all right tis i if you like the new camera setup if you like the stability all that good stuff let us know that's always fun what does berwin's fit remind you guys of drop it in the comments right now <laughs> you can say drop it. drop it in the comments right now what do you think berwin looks like i don't know what to say <laughs> I could I, I can't put my finger on Just it. Just something I have. Someone who's like at a coffee shop, like Eskimo <laughs> bar, like it reminds me of a guy who works for the town in the morning, but at night he goes dancing or something. Like a fisherman. Fisherman, that's it. Oh, fisherman that's slash construction in the sanitation department. <laughs> Alright, cool. Catch Get you guys around. next week. Pressure. Have a great weekend. You want to take another step forward? <laughs> you used to take a step forward. That's crazy. Yo, I swear it used to be there. <laughs> Yo, yeah, crazy. it was up there. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Ooh. Oh! Ooh. Ooh. <laughs>